Guess who's back? Back again. I am back. Tell a friend. What's up, guys? Genius Pie Trap. Not Eminem, as you might have thought from my amazing rapping skills. But I am back. Been away for a little bit with a very, very busy personal schedule. But I am here to give you another Steam Tip video. This time it's on Steam Trade Matcher. And we're on www.steamtradematcher.com. I'll leave a link in the description. And this is an excellent site to help you get cards that you need to complete badges. Works very well. We're going to go here. First thing we're going to do is sign in through Steam in the upper right hand corner. And it's going to give you this standard warning that this is not a Valve website. That's okay. And once we do that, we want to hit this. First, let's go to the options, actually. A couple different options. Classic is, it's going to basically, that's if you don't have a lot of cards to begin with. It's just going to basically help you get, fill up badges of cards that you need. The stacker will automatically get you cards that you need for a full level 5 badge. Meaning, instead of just filling one badge, you know, it might get you three cards or five cards, depending on what you're looking for. Level one collector, you can read the rest of these, but I think the, the main two are classic and stacker. Trader is same as stacker mode, except it will still try to find matches after you complete the match. I don't know why you'd want this one. Um, and this is level one collector if you want to collect craft each bad badge once. So... I prefer the stack mode because I have, I'm level like 126 and I have a lot of cards and I try to go for as high as badge as possible. Public appearance, um, this basically, right now it's going to scan my friends and other users of this site. Public appearance is, it's going to make it so other users of the site can scan your cards to try to also find matches. I'm not going to enable it because I get so spammed with trade invites the way it is. I don't need any more. All right, we're going to save that, and we're going to go to start scan. And just like this, it starts to find matches. And it's going to populate, a, for me anyway, a ton of matches. Now, this is all going to be dependent on what cards that you need. Here, for example, it shows me... Rolling Cheese Wheel. This is a user. Not on my friends list, but a user of this site. And what it's showing is, I have two of these cards for the game Making History, Part 2. And he also has two of these cards. So, it would be beneficial to trade one of my extras for one of his extras. Same thing down here. Um, the same guy has... It has two. I have two of these. He's got two of these. So we're basically just trading extras. You can see rolling cheese. And let's scroll down here. We'll try to find another user here. Um, Rottle sick. Same thing. I got two of these. He's got two of these. He'd probably be interested in a trade so we can complete badges. So let's give it a try here. So we're going to offer a trade to rolling cheese wheel. And it's going to bring up a window just like this. Now, it's not going to automatically populate these cards in there. You have to put them in there yourself. Community. All right. And so we're looking for Romeo. And we'll give him one of these. And we'll look for Sushi. And we'll give him one of these. And we want to trade him for Ivan, as I'm reading right down here. There we go. And Elite Skull. There we go. So now, you know, as you can see here, he's got two of these cards. I had two of the other cards. 
So this should be a good trade. Now the only other thing you might want to look at is the value of these cards. We can click in this little drop down, view and community market. Generally speaking though, as long as you're trading an extra card or cards between the same games, they should be generally close. But if you click view and community market, it'll give you a price. And we click here to confirm contents, make an offer. And it's going to give us this pop-up where we have to verify it in our email address. And that's okay. And we should all know how to do that by now. You just go to your email and do a confirmation. This trade will go to him. Hopefully, he will accept it. And we'll get two cards closer to our badge. All right, let's do another one quick here. We'll find a new user. Let's go with Vlad. Looks like he's got a letter quest that we want. So we'll offer a trade to Vlad. And we want, or he wants our Grimm's Mansion. Look, right here we have two of them. Give him one. And he's got Lapin Lab. Just like this. Now, a good practice might be to just type in the message offer found on steamtrader.com. That way, Vlad will know where I got his stuff from, or his profile name. There we go. And click to contents, make offer. And there we go. If he accepts, we will be another step closer to completing a badge. You guys got any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer. I'll check the thread. Hope this helps you all. Great, um, excellent tool to very easily find cards that you need and people that want those cards. Talk to you guys later. Genius Pie Trap. Over and out. Later. Bye. Victory. The outcome was never really in doubt. Eat my dust. Let's have a go at it. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard. Giddy up. It is good to be giant, man. Guts and